ready? Look over here at me. My name is Jeff Worth. I'm the president of Alberta Cryogenics here in Red Deer, Alberta. Alberta Cryogenics specializes in service repair and manufacturing of nitrogen equipment uh, for the oil and gas industry. We recently came up with an opportunity of a client that was looking to enter into the nitrogen industry and complement their business, and it was Goliath Nitrogen Services. This unit actually started life as an old previous unit, and we take four or five of the major components and turn it into this new unit. So it actually saves the company money in purchasing and procuring those materials. As we all know, that's been a big challenge in, in the world in the last two years. This one is unit number two. They've currently got one out in the field that's actively working and uh, they're building some success with it already. One of the major things that we focus on as a company is we try to look at it from the field perspective first and talk to the operators and the owners of these companies and figure out what the pain points are on all this equipment. So over the years we've came up with a pretty good list of design key points that uh, really help these operators for functionality and comfort and safety out in the field. So as you can see, it's quite a clean setup in here and it's quite a spacious cab. You can really see out this front window and um, the pass through into the tractor cab so it helps share climate control systems. Underneath the dash, you can see that there's no plumbing or wiring or anything that's exposed and uh, it keeps the, the system safe for the operator and it keeps this cab nice and quiet as well. They can do jobs that are as much as a week long in, in one location with these things. So they shift in and out and there's actually a bunk inside of them to do shift changes and take rests because of log books and things like that. And uh, the whole cab is insulated and heated and the climate control is, is um, mixed with the tractor cab. There's a pass through there that, that helps kind of keep that all comfortable for them. They've got spots for a microwave and a printer and a laptop usually because they bill out jobs in here. And this control system is a touch panel control. We've designed to control this whole unit from here. It's got electric actuators that run the valves outside and you can see discharge pressure and rate and total and the discharge temperature. Pretty standard for nitrogen equipment, but it's all in one control console. And then up here you have uh, the data for all your hydraulic pressures and temperatures and engine data on the side. This screen can be configured to graphing to show the graph of the job that's being pumped as well. On this side of the unit, this, uh, this large cover that can be branded any customer name that you'd like, it covers all of the hydraulic filters and service items. So we can pull just a few bolts off this, this cover comes off and it's all serviceable underneath there and all the filters are labeled as well. The hydraulic uh, fan assembly. So all the hydraulics on this unit are all on one side, so it keeps it quite serviceable in that manner. It's not on both sides of the unit. There's a nice safe set of stairs here to access the nitrogen plumbing and pumping systems that sometimes need to get refurbished and repaired. That's the other thing that we really focused on is the serviceability of these units. Inside of there, on the unit itself, there's all the major components that you need to change. You don't have to remove another large component we designed it so all the preventative maintenance items such as filtration and, and lubes and tanks are all easily accessible and easily changed. Storage for high pressure iron rolls out so it's nice and safe for the operators to pull these heavy components out. More storage for tooling or and iron related components. And this toolbox turns into a work surface for the customer as well. And it's got LED lighting that turns on with a motion sensor inside. And this light is adjustable for work surface as well. One of the options that you can put on these units is a discharge hose reel, which this customer decided they wanted. And then your discharge iron is all here mounted to the fender. There's a manual bleed valve here and then pressures and temperature sending units. The load tube is actually made out of ABS plastic, so it's uh, nice and clean inside, doesn't get corroded. One thing to really mention is uh, on the plumbing, 
the TIG welding work that's been done on this is at a very high quality and it's something that really stands out on these units. Um, it's one of the first things everybody notices when they walk up to it. We've got a really excellent team at Alberta Cryogenics uh, to pull a project like this together when it comes to electrical, electronics work, fabrication, the plumbing side of it, commissioning and testing, electronics and controls. We've pretty much got the whole team in place to, to support something like this. And Yeah, you can really tell that they take pride in it and it's nice to be involved with a project where you can see this end product and uh, come together at such a high level. Fortunately, we have a good client that's uh, got a, the same attention to detail that we have, so it's been really an excellent relationship working with Goliath because they didn't give me any limitations when it came to design and, and details, branding, and the color schemes and things like that. So we really worked in unison together to, to make it what it is, and you're right, it, it's one of the hot rods of the oil field, it seems like, so we're proud of it. <laughs>